it doesn't make any sense to me. It really does not make any sense to me. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the Canada Info Ops channel. My name is Wolo. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I used to be a Manitoban, still a Manitoban, but now a new bronze speaker. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell. And anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified of anything Canadian immigration because that's what I talk about. And um, to my old subscribers, thank you so much for your loyalty. Thank you for sticking with me and for engaging in the comment section. Okay, so it's been a chaotic um, period for all of us within the Canadian immigration um, industry because, I mean, this is the industry I belong to. So it's been a very chaotic period for us. And we've been giving updates. And then recently, um, the Minister for Immigration stated that several international students were claiming asylum at an alarming rate. Can you tell us how many international students do claim asylum while they're here on student visas? There's a growing number, Mercedes, uh, and it's, it's, it, it's frankly quite alarming uh, given the volumes of people that come to this country in theory with the proper financial capacity to live and to pay their tuition fees, which are four times what Canadians pay. Uh, but it, it's becoming an alarming trend. Uh, we see that it happens often within the first year of the time they're here. I would say often for less valid reasons than, than others, notably to drop the tuition fee down uh, to Canadian rates. Uh, there's, a, there's some opportunism that's being used and exploited there. It, it, it goes to the point that I've been making a, to universities, colleges, to make sure that their recruiting practices are better, uh, that they make sure that the type of people that we are attracting under what should be a world-class student visa program is one where people don't turn around and, uh, you know, after they've paid all sorts of money to come here and, and claim asylum. I, it can't, this is a program that was aimed international excellence and not a backdoor entry into Canada for whatever reason. And it's, you know, part and parcel of the reforms that I've been doing over the last, the better part of the year to make sure that we have a better international student visa system, including detecting fraud at the outset, which is uh, immensely critical, but also looking at the timeline and making sure that of, of stay that students are here and making sure that they are properly accompanied by the institutions that take so much money from them and uh, in theory are supposed to give them the best education in the world. Uh, but looking at the after effects of that and how that impacts the Canadian economy and uh, less on that short term gain than um, than more looking at the impact and the long-term pain that this has created, including the burden of making false uh, or, or less credible asylum claims. So uh, in my last video, I mentioned reasons why the Canadian immigration, they are putting measures in place to um, reduce temporary residence in Canada. And now we have updates that there are about 13,000 international students who have claimed asylum. And most of them, the reasons they were given was that they wanted to pay lower tuition fees like the domestic students. I mean, why would international students use that as an excuse to claim asylum? It doesn't make any sense to me. It really does not make any sense to me. So when the government comes up with stricter measures, which they have started doing now, like refusing um, visiting visa applications, refusing um, study permit applications, you will not blame them because this is what they are seeing. I'm also going to play another video where um, somebody was saying that, I mean, the system is totally broken. Yes, the system is totally broken and they are trying to clean up their mess. So I've already done a video about them cleaning up the immigration mess, but then this is additional reason why more study visa applications will be refused. So this is just to inform you, if you plan to come to Canada as a student, you would be facing so much scrutiny. Um, you will be facing a lot of obstacles. I'm not saying that they will not approve your applications. They would, but because of the precedence that has been set now, international students or those who plan to come to study in Canada will now be facing strict measures or strict scrutiny before they are allowed in. And they are not going to mention 
what and what they'll put in place. You know, in your mind, you think you are just applying or you meet the requirements. For instance, you must have paid your tuition in full. You have your money in your bank account. They will still refuse it. They've been doing that before, but now we will see a higher refusal rate for study visas. This is because they are trying to curb the number of people who want to claim asylum in Canada, who want to abuse the system, and who might cause chaos uh, to Canada. So this is the information I said I was going to share today. Um, I'll be playing the video so that you can watch it to the end, and then you understand what I'm talking about. This is an absolute indicator that the system is broken and not only is it broken, it's dangerous. Nearly 13,000 international students have claimed asylum in Canada in 2024 so far. The numbers obtained by Global News show that from January to the end of August, 12,915 international students here on visas to study claimed asylum. 12,000 since January is, is very alarming. Sunday on the West Block, Immigration Minister Mark Miller revealed deep concern about skyrocketing student asylum claims. This is a program that was aimed international excellence and not a backdoor entry into Canada for whatever reason. Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc says he agrees. On Tuesday in New York City, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau did not echo those concerns directly, but warned against abusing the system, saying Canada has a moral obligation to help refugees. Other people using the asylum path as a shortcut uh, to gain uh, Canadian permanent residency or citizenship is something that we need to continue to push back against. Immigration lawyer Max Chaudhry says better screening of students before they are issued visas would help. If they make a refugee claim inside of Canada, then it's quite apparent that the a lot of the scrutiny may not have taken place when they applied, for example, as a student. The government says it will take up to 10 days to acquire the data on numbers for previous years, but according to the Globe and Mail, 1,515 international students claimed asylum in 2018, a fraction of this year's numbers. So this is the information I said I was going to share today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Hopefully in my next video, um, I don't talk about Canadian immigration. So if you're tired of me talking about Canadian immigration, please let me know so that I can switch to something else and talk about myself, probably. I owe you some personal videos anyway, but just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.